catcher on strike. Oh, and there's a bouncer, and there's a big appeal for court behind, and he's given him out. Given him out too, that's a beautiful delivery. There's an interesting one. I, I suppose the, the question one would ask is, when he hit it, was it shoulder height? And, uh, well, if it had continued its path, the Ditsman show back up. Oh, and a Yorker first ball, fast delivery as well, 150.7. Right, let's have a look at this one again. A contentious decision, this one. Let's see if we can pick up. But before we do that, let's have a look at this uh, this delivery. Was it uh, slipping down the leg side? Bit of reverse swing there, just nipping down the leg side. Good ball, though. Oh, it's clean bowling. That's beautiful bowling. Benkenstein really just inside that one a little bit. It looked as if it came back from outside off stump. That's Mr. Benkenstein. Well, he wouldn't enjoy that one too much, I'm sure. No one likes to see their son get bowled out. However, it happens to all dads from time to time, no doubt. The Pakistan, he's loving this. Let's have a look. See that little bit of uh, movement back there? Just beat the outside edge. It was uh, on the crease a little bit. Perhaps would have been a little bit more positive with that defensive shot. Good bowling, though. Shower back there gets another wicket. South Africa, 74 for three. On strike. Well, bowled right up there in the block hole again. Klusner on the back of a bit of a bad run. Needs some runs. Maybe he saw the 144 a little bit better than the 122 from Venkates Prasad the other day. Certainly South Africa needs... Lance Klusner to get some runs here now. This is the delivery. Good length. I think the key here was the length from Shaya Bakhtar. Stay down a little bit. Had a few problems with his groin, isn't he, Shaya Bakhtar? Right, Klusner's on strike. Two slips in position. Tearing away again. Oh, bowling! Bowling! Beautiful delivery. Magnificent bowling, Shaya Bakhtar. Absolutely spot on target. And furiously fast. He's brought this place alive. Not easy. You let these Pakistanis get a few wickets. Once again, the length here is very, very good. I mean, that's the same length that got Dale Benkenstein early on. Good reaction uh, there, and uh, well, look at that over three wickets in the. Uh... Had two days at heading there with Andrew Caddick taking four wickets in one over. Always giving it out. Goodness me! Oh, bowling! All over the shop. Calamity upon calamity in the West Indies camp. Oh, bowled in two. This is brilliant. This is quite fabulous bowling and quite mesmeric cricket all round. Look at this field. Have you ever seen anything like it? Every single England fielder is in an attacking position. Five slips, two gullies, a short leg, a backward short leg. Oh, play and miss. You wouldn't write the script, you wouldn't put it in a comic book. Umpire Simon Toffel says play. First ball of the last test match. Almost put it in the air. Appreciable movement and that uh, you can expect. Short leg as well, close to the bat. Oh, Irfan Patan struggled with his pace in the last... Edge and accepted. It's Rahul Javid who picks up a neat catch. And India are off the mark. All the three deliveries extremely good from Patan. These are good conditions to move around the off stump, forcing the batsman to play ahead it. 
And a good low catch by Rahul Dravid, the slipper, the captain. The early breakthrough is what India wanted. That's why they put the opposition in. And Irfan Patan is struck with the new ball. He'll be tested, Yunus Khan. A bit of cloud cover has enveloped the National Stadium Karachi. Oh, close enough to call, I think it is close enough to call and he's gone. What a good delivery. Perfect line, swing, direction. And the result was a perfect uh, one for the left armor. That Eunice Khan was a good candidate for leg before. He was out leg before to RP Singh in the 190s. And here, first delivery. What a great one. Good delivery, pitching in line, just a bit of swing. And wickets with consecutive deliveries. India are doing the damage early in this test match, the final one here in Karachi. We got rid of Yunus Khan with a lovely in dipper. What will this ball be? second man to take a hat-trick in the first over of a test match. Mohamed Yusuf and great Nick as well. Look at this, a great delivery going through the gate. Peach, a magical start for India. And Irfan Patan has picked up three wickets in his first over. And the second Indian to pick up a hat-trick. And this is a magnificent one, he'll remember. For This is Pollock to Saeed Awan. Out! First ball now. If ever South Africa required a start, they've just got it. Jeffrey. All through the Test Match series, and I was just about to say, South Africa have got to make this new ball count. I'm sure they'll have been watching Ambrose and Walsh ball yesterday evening in the first few overs with the dew on the pitch, and they've made it count straight up. Runs in... Limited overs cricket, international cricket, averaging just over 30. This is the second ball of the innings. That's not a bad delivery either. They didn't get through to David Richardson. Well, that, I um, mean, he'll take it, will Sean Pollock. But look, the ball doesn't do anything. It's just a straight ball angled across. And he's nicked it. He's in that bad of form. I'd be looking to get picked for the next match. I mean, he just can't get the bat on ball. Now, that's a good ball. That was a cracker. That pitched and left him like a firecracker. But he hasn't really let himself have a sight and he could have played it three or four balls and over big shout and given out by umpire steve dunn what a sensational over this is from sean pollock he's knocked over saeed anwar and omar sahel in three deli four deliveries three i think it pitched on and i think that's uh, Probably missing off a missing leg and knocking middle out about two thirds of the way up. On your bike, son, you're gone. That's out. If that's not out, I don't know what is. None for two. Ijaz Ahmed. 4,600 runs. Averaging 32, six centuries, 26 fifties. Here he is to a right hander. Close, it's out, he's done it. Goodness me, three wickets in five deliveries. Ejaz, we saw that in the test match, falling across, and the ball's not going anywhere, but the base of middle, or halfway up. Well, I think this is out. Why in heaven's name he'd be playing back? I mean, you can see leg stump, nearly middle stump as well. I mean, what are they doing playing back? Why aren't they playing forward? Well, there's the over so far. Wicket, dot ball, dot ball, wicket, wicket. No, I didn't th think Inzima I'm expected to be coming in now, first over on a hat trick. Three slips. Hat trick saved. Good delivery though. In the end, a fantastic over. Severing at that far end with holding. And this played it up. And another wicket. For Michael Holden, Alan Knott just after completing his 50, a little unfortunate there, got into position nicely. Holding's reputation was secured in Barbados in 1981 
with the so-called greatest over of all time. And not for Jeff Boycott, it wasn't. Every ticket had been sold, but the local Barbadians, who hadn't managed to get one, were determined not to miss the second day's play. West Indies were all up for 265, not an enormous total by their standards. But it looked big enough as Michael Holding bowled the best over I've ever seen. It was his first, and the unfortunate batsman was Jeff Boycott. That was the first ball which Boycott just survived. The next ball whistled past his off stump as he tried to play it. After five balls, Boycott was still there, but the sixth was simply unplayable. Boycott out for a black. The most prized wicket had been taken. The over went mad. Boycott rates holding the fastest bowler in the world, and he hasn't changed his mind after this morning. England was six.